after the war concluded. If you were a loyalist, you could petition to receive one of the land grants in Canada. And his children had the opportunity to file a petition on behalf of their father. So that's what Charlotte okay. McDonald oh. is doing. The more information we get, the more questions we have. Mm. What happened to James? You know, did he, did he die in the revolution? Right. So the next step that I would recommend is going to the city of Ottawa archives. And they have a fantastic loyalist collection of records to give you more information about James Gray and his time as a loyalist. Right. <laughs> Great. His loyalty. His loyalty. Thank you so much. <laughs> Today was a really big day for us. Finding out that our five times great-grandfather, James Gray was a loyalist, I feel really proud. You know, he fought for the crown and believed so deeply in something that he would fight for it. You know, Canada struggles with its identity. We're like the little brother sometimes to the United States, but we have these strong internal roots to the queen and the crown. So it's kind of ironic now. I wonder what our ancestors would think of us. We work in America and live in America and it's under the bridge now to us, but at the time, life or death for them.